It took daring for whoever it was that first encountered a fierce-looking live lobster and said, I wonder how that would taste with drawn butter and a little white wine. That story is lost in antiquity, but Mika Brzezinski now has a genuine lobster's tail. Maine lobstermen like Bruce Fernald have been hauling lobsters from these waters for hundreds of years, setting their traps and pulling up the secrets of the sea. So how many years of lobstering is in your family? I'm the sixth generation. Bruce Fernald knows a lot about lobsters. She's starting to darken up under here. Yeah. See that black line coming yeah, down there? Yeah. That's eggs starting to form. But when he took writer Trevor Corson on board as Sternman, he found out how much he didn't know. Reading Trevor's book was, uh, <laughs> was an eye-opener. But I didn't realize how far it was going to go. <laughs> it went pretty far, you know. It's true. It's true. All the way, actually. All, all the way. It gets pretty steamy. Steamy is a word you might expect to use to talk about cooking lobsters, but we're not talking about that kind of steam. It just never occurred to me what interesting social lives and interesting sex lives they have down there. For hot stuff, you can pick up a Harlequin romance, all fiction. Or you can read Corson's book, The Secret Life of Lobsters, all fact. Let's talk about page 50, where, you know, quite frankly, I, I don't even know if I can read this out loud. Again, the male responded immediately to the soft female scent. Sniffing with his antennules, he closed and lowered his claws, stood on tiptoe, approached the female and circled her. Is this the guy we're talking about? The one with the shell? Is this the body that makes girl lobsters swoon? The face they'd climb out of their shells for? Apparently so, as Trevor Corson discovered when he began to look beneath the surface of lobster life. I learned a lot more about lobsters and, um, shall we say, the, the romantic side of lobster life than, than I had ever imagined there was to know. The game of lobster love can be downright cruel. Male lobsters can't stop fighting. They have to fight in order to decide who's in charge of the territory. The scientists have found out that the females wait in turn to all mate with that one dominant male. So once he's proven that he's the bully of the neighborhood, he just sits back and they come. They come calling. <laughs> he gets all the girls. Pretty much. If he wants them. Pretty much. And the final question, the one we simply can't avoid. Can you eat them knowing what you know? Well, this is going to sound a little bit crazy. And I actually feel like going ahead and eating the lobster, even after you know everything about it, is a little bit like reconnecting with that web of life.